I am back today with layout number 47 for our family album series and today we are working on a Halloween layout. Alright, let's go to the computer and we will get started. Alright, at the computer you want to go to cricut.com slash design. You will see this screen, upper left hand corner where it says account. Click on that to sign in. Enter in your email and your password. When you see your name in that green box, that verifies that you were logged in. You want to come down here and click where it says create new project left hand side toolbar, click on insert images. We're going to change this from all images to cartridges. In the search box we're going to type in the word family. This will bring up family album. Click on view all images and the one we want is the Halloween one which is right there. We're going to click on that. Bottom right click on insert images. Now I left this one pretty much the way it is here in design space. My left hand side toolbar, click on set canvas. In the search box, we're going to type in the word basic. This will bring up basic shapes. And I'm going to click on those. Right hand side toolbar, click on canvas. And I'm actually going to make my cardstock piece here be a black color for Halloween. All right, bring this piece up in the upper left hand corner. Let me move this down some so I can see my entire canvas piece there. All right, use the arrow keys, trying to drag the layout down. Right click on it, choose ungroup. Now I'm going to grab these little bats here, kind of bring them off to the side, and then regroup them back together. I'm going to grab this piece as well, bring that down, this piece behind it, and group that together. Oops. Right click to choose group. Let's grab this bat as well. And I like grouping things together like this, otherwise you're moving two pieces versus the one. I'm going to bring this piece out of my way and this piece out of my way. And this piece is going to be our photo, so I'm going to put this piece back where it's supposed to go. Alright, we're going to take this and highlight the entire thing, right click and choose group. Alright, so I'm going to grab the word Halloween and group that together as well. Alright, so now we are back and good to go. Let's go ahead and put all of our pieces back where they're going to go. That's going to be a photo mat here. That's going to go up here. All right, where was that? I think I'm going to put that one down here. We can use that for journaling. We'll put a little bat up here and I don't know, another one somewhere over here someplace. Okay, so first things first, I'll make the title be a little bigger. We have all that wasted space and I do like that font a lot. So I'm actually making my title, if I go to my edit panel, I'm going to make it be 11 inches wide. So it's going to be Nice and big. I'm leaving the bats the way they are as far as their size. All right, so now this piece here, I want this to be a photo mat. I'm going to have it selected. Go to my right hand side toolbar bar under edit. I'm going to make this one be 4.25 in width and 3.25 in height. This way you can hold a 4 by 3 photo. All right, now we want to sync some things together. So we have this yellow here. I can see that I'm going to drag that down to um, the top piece of that gray. So I'm going to drag that yellow or my gray piece to that yellow. Okay, I like that so we can kind of see the black behind it. This piece we're leaving black. All right, we have three color grays. I'm going to go ahead and sync all those guys together as well. All right, so we have this for our photo. So I'm going to go ahead and take this piece. Go to my edit panel and resize this to be four inches wide. Unlock the lock by six inches tall. And we're going to bring it over here to kind of play around with our sizing. All right, so I'm going to bring that over, bring this piece over. Now you can see it's not going to fit there. I'm going to click on this piece and make it be a little bit smaller. All right, so I think that I could probably go a little bit smaller on that piece. We want to hide our photo behind it. All right, so I think that size looks pretty good. All right, so in my piece here, my in my design space, if I go to my edit panel, I have this size to be 6.21 in width, and the height is 6.78. So our 4 by 6 photo will go behind that. And let's bring that back over here. All right, so we don't need to cut this square out. That's going to be our photo. All right, that's going to be our photo, so we can go ahead and remove that piece. All right, now I want to go back to my sync panel and sync these guys together again. All right, so we have 
our gray bat here and our gray bat there. We could probably put that over there by the title. All right, this purple piece, I'm going to go ahead and click on that, go to my edit panel, and just make this be an even size as well. I'm going to unlock the lock and make this one be four inches wide by, I guess we'll go 11 and a half. All right, this way we can cut the, these pieces out on our trimmer. All right, so I think it looks pretty good, guys. So we'll have a three by four photo or a four by three photo there and a four by six photo here. I'm going to remove that piece there. We'll have our trimmer cut that piece, that piece as well. All right, top toolbar, click on go. So I will need the black piece here. I'm going to go ahead and bring that down to save paper. All right, now this piece here, we're going to, this is going to cut out. So I'm actually going to bring these two guys over. Again, we'll save paper. Then we have that piece and that piece. All right, bottom toolbar, go ahead and click on go. I'm going to cut all these out with the table and put our layout together. All right, guys, we have all of our pieces cut out. I'm first going to go ahead and assemble our title, as I always do that first. All right, let's flip this over. It's a really, really pretty font, that one. I wish that sometimes they would tell you what font they use on the cartridge. There was quite a few cute ones I liked on this one. I just kind of put a few dollops of glue here and there. You don't need to cover the entire thing. Just enough to help you hold it down. Okay, I think we're good. Oops. I'm going to flip this over very carefully and lay it on here. And I love the yellow and the orange together. I'm going to flip it over, over here and just give it a rub. And I will probably pop that up maybe. I'm not quite sure yet. And let's work on our little bats. You know, when I was a kid, Halloween was like so big. It was like the thing to do, you know, go trick-or-treating. Nowadays, we're lucky that we get like two trick-or-treaters. You know, we buy candy every year thinking this is the year and nothing. I remember as a kid, me and my sister, we would go to my aunt's house and go trick or treat. My dad would never let us go trick or treat, so we'd go to my aunt's and we would dress up like babies or hobos or what have you. And we'd go out probably, we would change costumes probably three times and go around the whole neighborhood and we would have pillowcases filled with candy. Nowadays, you're lucky if you see a trick or treater. Okay, so we have that. Then we have our purple piece. Let me grab my notes so I remember how big that was. All right, the purple piece is four and a quarter by 11 and a half. And that's gonna go down here. All right, where's our photo mat? This is our one photo mat. This was four and a quarter by three and a quarter. Then we have this piece here. I might pop this piece up. <clears throat> now this one's gonna be tricky. I'm actually not gonna pop it up um, because we need to put a photo behind here. And it's not really like a photo mat, it's like more like a frame. But kind of neat that if you took white chalk to it. You know, like just brush it with like with just plain white chalk to give it that spooky look and maybe even do the black cardstock as well. Alright, so that's going to go there. We kind of have to finagle a little bit, guys. Hang on. Alright, this is going to go there for our photo mat. I really do like that frame a lot. That's going to go down there for our journaling. That's going to be a photo mat. A little bat's going to go up here and then... This guy would just shove someplace else. All right, how am I going to do that? Because you want to put the photo behind it. Um, I could cut out a piece of black cardstock. Let me grab a piece of black cardstock real quick. It'll take two seconds. Um, all right, I got two pieces here. I'm going to go ahead and cut this down to be like four by six, the size of our photo, just so I can kind of see where. That was noisy, sorry about that. Just so I can kind of see where this is gonna be. All right, there's six, and there is, whoops, a crooked four. Okay, four. All right, so this is going, your photo would go behind that. Super cute, I love the frame. Actually, your photo can't go behind that because I made it a tad bit too big. All right, Stace. Oh my gosh, let me measure this, guys. I'm so sorry. This is four, it's four and a quarter, so our photo probably has to be four. We have to make a mat, I'm guessing. 
All right, so we'll try it again. Four and a quarter by six. So I got six inches here. Yeah. All right, so we're going to go this way. Four and a quarter, maybe. Might need to trim a little bit of it off by six. Okay, let's see how we are. All right, so that fits there pretty good. I'm actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to make it be bigger. Okay, hang, hang in there, guys. Let me think. All right, this is four. It's like a line shorter than four and a half. So that'd be what? Four and something another? All right, hang on. I will give you guys a measurement. I'll put them on the screen for you guys. I'm looking for a scrap piece of black card stuff. That's that All right, so we have... All right, we know, we're, we know we stick, we're six inches that way, okay? And I just cut four and a quarter, that was too big. So I'm gonna go four and a quarter, and I don't even know, um, what is it? One, two, three, four, maybe four and three eighths. Let me see that. I'm gonna just cut a little nudge right here at the bottom of my trimmer so I can bring this frame up here to see if that'll fit. Okay, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna cut this piece, your 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 photo mat, to be four and a, four and three eighths by six. Okay, and you'll see what I'm gonna do. All right, let's get all this out of the way. All right, we're actually gonna glue the entire thing down. Okay, we're gonna glue all this down, right? But we're gonna leave the top open. We're gonna actually make a pocket. Should I foam it up? I think I should foam it up, probably. Oh, I don't think I have foam. Uh, okay, it'll just barely fit there. All right, so if you guys have um, foam tape, go ahead and use that. Okay, so it'll, it'll create like a little gap for us, which will give us more room to slip our photo between these two. And you'll see what I mean when I go ahead and um, put this together. So this is a tricky one. I, do, I, I did like that piece, though. So the measurement I gave you in design space for this frame piece is right, but then you'd have to cut a piece of black cardstock four and three eighths by six, okay? That's gonna be this piece here. I need to pop this up now too, don't we? Do I wanna pop it up? Yeah. I gotta think, guys. I got pop dots everywhere. Oh my gosh. Okay, world's worst video coming your way, guys. But at least you can see how my brain works, right? All right, so we're going to go ahead. Let's glue let's this piece down here. Okay, it's going to be in my way. All right, we're going to go ahead and glue our purple one down. All right, get this out of my way and that out of our way. All right, we're going to glue this toward the bottom. About a half inch or so from the bottom. All right, let's go ahead and glue this down. Am I going to pop it up? No. I probably would, but to save time, the video is probably already, what is it? Oh, it's only eight minutes, but I'd probably pop that. Well, we can pop the bats up. All right, so we're going to put this in the upper left-hand corner, make it sure I'm straight. But you know, if you mess up on a Halloween layout, it's supposed to be like that because it was Halloween. All right, this is going to go here. This is going to go here for our journaling. Okay, that's going to go here like that and then our photo mat is going to go right there so you can do two photos on this one or you can you guys can make the layout the way you want i'm just probably going to do two photos to keep it simple so we have this one piece here and again what's that measurement uh four and a quarter by three and a quarter so it's a four by three photo and then this will be our four by six photo once i figure this out all right so we're going to go ahead and take the backing of this off. I hope this works, Stace. I really do. All right, so take the backing of these off. Maybe. Yeah, okay, I had to think. All right, so we have, okay, we have that. I'm gonna get put this on here very carefully from the top and the sides, and I can see I'm a little bit over my pop dots, but that's okay, okay? 
All right, that's gonna look like that. This has to get popped up now to bring back that lift from these pieces over here. All right, so I'm gonna pop these little sides up. I'm just gonna use a whole glob of them. Okay. All right, we're gonna put some there. And I'm gonna put glue right here, okay, to hold that black piece down. Okay. I'm right, gonna get these guys to squish. We're gonna take them off, take the backings off of these guys. You know, like I said, it's one of those things you don't think about until after you're like working on the layout. Then you're like, oh my gosh, I gotta fix it. So hopefully we fix this and you know we're gonna solve our problem of adding a photo later on. Alright, so one more of these guys to go and we're gonna see if this works. Alright, so we're gonna flip this over. Now what we should have done here is created a window. So I'm going to go ahead and oh, cross my fingers, glue that down. Like that. Okay, now I'm going to grab a piece of white cardstock just so we can see and I'm going to cut it to be the size of a photo. Okay, which would be four by six in our case, right? Okay, so go ahead and grab this one. This would be six. And our photo would be four, so we're pretending this piece here is going to be our photo of the little ones out there trick or treating with their awesome costumes. And now we're like, okay, how do you put the photo on? We're going to go ahead and slide it under here. Cross your finger, Stacy. This is, ooh, look at that. Okay, so how you would do it? Just put some glue on this piece here, okay? And then just very carefully slide your photo in there. Okay, Stacy, we have a little problem. <laughs> This is why we test things, guys. Okay, so my photo's not going all the way down. What did I do? I glued this down, didn't I? Ugh. All right, see, so we're gonna peel you up. All right, we see if we can fix that. What did I do? Oh, I glued that black piece down. Okay, not a big deal. Go ahead with your spatula and undo that glue. Come on, without ruining everything. Okay, I'm taking the pop dots off and everything else. All right, we just want to create so we can get the photo behind there. All right, so I'm going to undo that piece and just go all that black. You guys are probably like, yep, space, forget about it. We'll just make another gray mat over there. Okay, but you're not going to see this once it's glued down. Okay, we can glue. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put, we can't glue this part to that piece there. Otherwise, our photo won't slide through, okay? So what I'm going to do, though, is we're going to glue this entire back piece down. All right. Do we have enough dimensionals there, Stace? My gosh. All right, so we're going to take all this off again. So I appreciate you guys hanging out with me while I figure this out. Yeah, you know, I, I figured, you know, the, the whole series went nice and smooth and like the last few layouts are like really screwing it up, aren't you, Stace? All right, so we can glue this entire piece down here. We just can't glue the bottom, okay? So when you're putting this black piece on, do not glue the bottom. I don't need to actually put photo dots here, do I? I don't. Oh my gosh, okay. Because if you put dimensionals here, it's not going to be the same up top. So, oh my gosh, okay. I am so sorry, guys. Can you tell it's late? It's like 9 o'clock. Might even be after 9 o'clock. I'm just trying to get this done, and I'm rushing, and I'm completely messing it up. All right, we are going to glue this entire piece down, okay? The entire thing, just our black. Okay, and then these piss down here, these pieces down here. Okay. Okay. Then we're gonna lay this entire thing down flat because we'll have the dimension from the frame that we did, okay? So I'm gonna lightly press that down. All right, now once again, we have our four by six photo. Little ones in their costume, looking all, all kinds of cute. I'm gonna put this in here. I'd probably just put like a little bit of, just a dollop of glue because you don't wanna ruin the photo going in. All right, and we're gonna Cross our finger, Stace. You're gonna go down there. Ooh, boop, boop, look at that, look at that. Ooh, I love when a plan comes together. All right, so there we have it. 
Okay, like five hours later we figured it out. So, you know, this is going to be open. Okay, you can't really glue that down. I mean, you probably could put a little um, foamy thing up there, but I guess we'll do that. But it's going to be inside a pocket page. You know, so I don't really, I'm not really too worried about it. But I will put one up there just for like a little bit of top support. All right. I put this guy in that corner. So if you guys have the itty bitty dimensionals or just the, even the large ones, just go ahead and cut them. All right, we all gotta reuse what we have. Take the backing off of this piece. So all we're doing, other than me completely ruining it, all we did was put pop tape or pop dots or foam tape, they're all the same thing, the dimensional stuff, on the gray frame, okay? And then we glued the entire, we put the black piece down and our photo will go right in there. Okay, our four by six photo, just like that. It'll slide in there. Okay, just like that, my friends. I said with white chalk, you could put the date here, or not the date, obviously to be October 31st, but you can put wherever you were. Uh, where your journal here. So there you guys have it. The completely super long, over long Halloween layout. Okay, hopefully you guys understood. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, as always guys, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.